Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the notation that we typically use for partial differential equations. You might have noticed that writing those funny little curls all the time gets kind of tiresome. So there's a shorthand method for writing some of these types of notations. For example, if we have a function u, which is a function of the two independent variables x and y, we can write the partial derivative of that function u with respect to x as simply u with a small x, like a subscript x. And the second partial derivative of u with respect to x can be written as u sub xx. And of course, if we take the partial derivative with the other variable, or with respect to the other variable, we can write it as u sub y or u sub yy to indicate the partial derivative of u with respect to y, or the second partial derivative of u with respect to y. And then, of course, we could also have something like this, where we have u sub xy or u sub yx. Now, the order here is kind of important. What this means is that we first are going to take the partial derivative of u with respect to x, and then we're going to take the partial derivative of u with respect to y, which can be written like this. So first, we take the partial derivative of u with respect to x, and after that, we take the partial derivative of what we have here with respect to y. And it can also be written like this. You can see that clearly this is a preferred method. You just have to get used to notation and make sure you realize that you take the partial derivative with this first before you take whatever you end up with, the partial derivative of that with respect to y. And of course, in reverse, here you take the partial derivative with respect to y first before you take that result and take the partial derivative with respect to x, which can also be written like that. You clearly see that it's a lot easier to write that but sometimes it kind of loses its clarity when you look at the equations. We can also write the shorthand when we have, for example, a function u, which is dependent on two independent variables, x and t. x could be representing distance, t could be representing time. When t represents time, and you take the partial derivative of the function with respect to time, you could write it like this, the partial of u with respect to t, or u with a little dot over it. So a little dot over it means the first derivative with respect to time, and then this can then be written as this, which means the second derivative with respect to time. And again, in this case, it's the second partial derivative with respect to time. So then we take the same function as we had before, the wave function that moves at velocity v, described as the function y, the height of the function, with respect to x and t, or as a function of x and t, can be written as the amplitude of the motion times the sine of kx minus omega t. And this is then the corresponding partial differential equation. So we can take this and write it like this, and we can take this and write it like that. That makes this a whole lot easier to write and kind of cleaner to look at. And then we realize since this is with respect to time, instead of writing as y sub t t, we can write as y with two little dots on top of it makes it very compact and simple. We just need to get used to looking at that notation, and so that makes it a lot easier to write things like this than to write things like that. It goes a little quicker as well. And that's how it's done.